Hi, so uh, this is a short video just showing how I build a project using MP Lab, the MP Lab IDE. I'm using version 8.92. Um, I'm going to build a project and then I'm going to simulate it. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in my assembly language program. So file new. And then I've got the program here. Copy then I'm going to paste it in and then when I've done that I'm going to save it as an assembly language program so I'm going to call it blinky1.asm and then you'll see this change colors in the assembly language format so now we've got that file saved um, I'm not going to go through the file, the program, because I've got a detailed description of this in my Instructable. So we can close this down, and then we can do a new project. So Project Wizard, next. So we select the device, which is a PIC 16 F690, next. It takes some time, next. Browse. We're going to put it in this folder here, and I'm just going to call it Blinky1 one and it will save it as a MP lab project and then next so we now to bring our assembly language program in so we click on it then click add and then this letter here we need to change to a C and then click next and that's it finished so now we need to build it so project build all and make it relocatable and Fortunately, the build succeeded. So now we've got our our project built and we've got a hex file ready to put in our microcontroller. So we can also simulate it from here. So we choose debugger, select tool, and then we choose MP Lab Sim. So then we get this menu bar up here to enable us to sim it, simulate it. So we can run the, an animation of it or we can step through it. I like to view the registers when we're running it, so I'm going to do view file registers and um, I'll do it quite quick, but I think I'll just run it for now, so we'll animate. So this is running through the program, but if you look it gets stopped at the delay. Now the delay works by decrementing um, these two memory addresses 21 and 22 so it does it did it decrements them 256 times or 55 so it goes from ff all the way down to zero but then it will decrement 22 once and then go back and can do the whole of memory address 21 again and then it will go ef and then down again and lots and lots of times now we can speed this up by going debugger settings animation and real time and then go really fast so you can see this decrementing even faster but we still won't get through it so when we'll never see the um, memory location 07 and 107 which is where our port C is location change so I'm gonna hold the program and do a new project but this time I'm going to comment out the delays so I do a file new then I've got the code here saved with the delays commented out if you look here I'll put semicolons in front of all the delays so save as uh, I'm just going to save it as the same. Do you want to place it? Yes. So they're all commented out now. So we can get rid of that and we'll do a new project. Next, next, next. And we'll just call it Blinky2, very imaginatively. And save, next. So add our assembly language program to it and then next finish so now we need to build it again so build all and fingers crossed 
build succeed successful so debugger select tool mplab sim view file registers now what I can do now is we can step through this one so if we do step so we can go through it one line at a time and if you look we're now changing these registers 0, 07 and 107 which is where port C is located and it's shared across those and we can just we can go right through it and you can see we're not decrementing memory addresses 21 and 22 anymore because they're commented out so all we're doing is just changing over port C and then we can speed that up again settings animation really speed it up <coughs> and then halt it and then we can st step through it and just have a look at our registers and that's about it really so the next thing is to actually program the chip I'm going to use a pick kit too and I will put that on my instructables and I'll do another video of how to do it thanks for watching